Meet the owl. She doesn't do much, but she exists. And that's enough. This story starts with a bird attack, a patio, and a dog named Mia, and ends in a box full of wires. So my wife wanted a smart owl to scare off birds. Most people would buy one. I saw a $6 motion sensor and said, hold my soldering iron. I cracked it open, traced the PCB in Photoshop like I was defusing a bomb. I labeled the pads, I found the RX, TX, GPIO, 00, but the EN pin? A ghost, just a via to nowhere. I soldered onto microscopic copper like a surgeon with shaky hands and the confidence of someone who's never done this before. At this point, I thought I was close to hacking the mainframe. Spoiler, I was not. I tried to flash it, nope. Turns out the MCU was factory locked with a fuse. No firmware for me. So I pivoted. The motion sensor still worked. It spat out three volt signal on motion. Good enough. I tossed in a second ESP I could control and added a servo. Shaved everything in the box the sensor came in and duct taped a 3D printed owl head to the top. It triggers when motion is detected. That's it. But it's my failure and I love it. This isn't a smart owl, but it's a wise one because it taught me that sometimes the journey is more important than the servo. And next time, I might just spend $35, maybe.